Hi everyone, I'm back with another AP Statistics video, and today we're going to be talking about five number summaries. I'll be brief and to the point. What are they? It's a collection of five specific statistics. Whenever you see the words five number summary on your AP Stats exam or anywhere in life, you're being asked to calculate these five statistics. The minimum, which is simply the smallest value in your data set. The maximum, the largest value in your data set. The 25th percentile, also referred to as the first quartile, for those of you who love box plots and whatnot. The median, which is also referred to as the 50th percentile. And last but not least, the 75th percentile, referred to as the third quartile. Now, if you already know how to calculate all of these, and, um, well, if, if you already know how to calculate all of these statistics, and I'm hoping everyone knows how to calculate at least the first two, then you're done. You're good. You can pause the video right here, leave, and go play outside depending on where you are. But if you don't know, I'm going to help you figure I'm going to show you how to calculate each one of these. Now, I've already covered how to calculate percentiles in a previous video and as those, as much as I hate it tell you to go watch another video when you could be doing so much else in the world, you really need to watch the percentiles video. So I'll give you exactly 5 seconds to click on this video link to learn how to calculate percentiles. Go. That was a long five seconds, wasn't it? If you're still with me, I hope you know how to calculate percentiles because we're going to walk through an example problem and I'm assuming you know how to do it. So let's do it. Alright, here's the data set of test scores. At this point, you should all know that the only scores, the only data, the only data that I pull for my example are test scores. Why? Because, God forbid, we do anything else in school besides take tests, right? So let's move on. I've put the five statistics we're looking to calculate up in the top corner. I know the words minimum are slightly cut off, but don't worry, you know what the minimum is. And here's our data set one more time. So let's figure out how to calculate the five numbers in a five number summary. Bam! A lot of numbers, right? Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through each one. The minimum, the smallest number. Well, the smallest number in our data set is 19. Nothing too difficult there. The maximum. Well, the, what is the largest number in our data set? It's the number 99. It's not hard, right? So that's two. That's no big deal. Alright, so the 25th percentile. This 0.25 right here is all I did was divide 25, or desired index, by 100 to get 0.25. And I multiply that by the number of numbers in our data set. Uh, <clears throat> and that got me 2.75. Of course, when we're calculating percentiles, when we get a decimal value for our index, we simply round up to the nearest whole number, and that would be 3. And so we look for the number in the third index, the third number in our data set, 1, 2, 3, and we get the number 46. So 46 marks our 25th percentile. The median, the the number that splits our data set in two. It has the same number of numbers on the left as it is on the right. It marks the 50th percentile. And how do we calculate this? Well, the same way we calculate any percentile. Our desired, per, our desired percentile, 50, divided by 100 to get the 0.5 times the number of numbers in our data set, 11. And we get the number 5.5 for our index. Of course, when we get a decimal, we round up. So we round to 6 for our index value. And so we're going to find the number in the 6th position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 74. 74 is the median of the da data set. Last but not least, we need to calculate the 75th percentile, right? Once again, the our desired percentile value, 75, divided by 100, gets us this 0.75, times the number of numbers in our data set, 11. We get a decimal answer, 8.25, so we round up, so we get 9. <clears throat> and that is our index value, so we find the number in the ninth position in our data set. So we can the ninth number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Number 91. 91 marks the 75th percentile. So that's it. That's how you calculate a five number summary. When you, you All you have to do is find the minimum, the maximum, the 25th percentile, the median, also called the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. That's it. Those are the five things you have to calculate. Minimum, maximum, 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. That's all you got to do. But there's a bonus. Aren't you lucky? Bonus bonus term. The interquartile range. Essentially, it's a measure of variability within your data set that you're probably only going to use in AP Statistics. But to calculate the interquartile range, you simply subtract your... You find the difference, which is subtraction, between the 75th and 25th percentile. For those of you who like quartiles, it's the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. I should point out that 75th percentile, once again, is another name for third quartile, and 25th percentile is simply another name for first quartile. So going back to our previous data set, the 25th percentile was at 46, the 75th percentile was at 91. We simply take the difference between these two, and we find the, our interquartile range is 45. So that's all we. Have, so that tells us 
The difference between the 75th and 25th percentile is 45. And it, this is basically a measure of variability within our data set. You'd, the only time you would probably use this is either to determine what an, if something is an outlier, or if, you know, compared to another data set, is this data set more variable or less variable. So that covers it. Now you know how to calculate five number summaries and the interquartile range. Until next time.